Hello, 6th grade, and welcome to this weekly breakdown. So, for this week, there's a gentle reminder that we are going to have a lab class, so please make sure that you have your lab coats with you in your locker so you don't forget them at the day of the lab. As you all know that last week we posed the content and we worked on our STEAM Fair projects, now we are going to continue from where we stopped. So the week before the last, we talked and we started with the lesson conservation of energy. So we are still talking about energy and different energy forms. In this lesson, we started by saying that there are either singular or multiple change forms of energy. So when you toast a bread in the toaster, the electric energy changes into thermal energy. But if you eat that bread, what happens to it? You change it into chemical energy. So there is a change of form of energy. And we said one example is the swinging boat ride, which is between the kinetic and potential. So at the top, when the boat is at the top or the ride is at the top, it is potential. And when it starts moving, it's kinetic. And then when it stops up again, it is potential. So here, the energy is transforming from one form to the other. And we also discussed that we have two different terms, such as energy transformation and energy transfer. We said energy transformation occurs when one form of energy changes into other. So potential energy changes into kinetic energy. But in energy transfer, it takes place when energy moves from one object to another. You take it from one object to the other. As for this week, we are going to discuss the energy change in law of conservation. So we are going to talk about the law of conservation of energy. We all know that energy is never lost or destroyed. It can be either transformed or transferred. So energy either moves from one place to another or changes form. But no energy is created or destroyed. So it's kinetic to potential, potential to kinetic, kinetic, but we never lose that energy. So we have conservation of energy in transfers. So as we said, in a wrecking ball, there's, it has kinetic energy. As it moves and hits a wall and it transfers that energy to the wall, this is called conservation of energy. So the total amount of energy in a system does not change. Also, there's a conservation of energy in waves. So let's say you have a basketball or a ball that is uh, in a water. The wave lifts it, drops it, and the object ends back to where it was. So the energy is also conserved in the wave. This is it for this lesson. And as usual, we are going to check our understanding by solving the lesson check. And after solving the lesson check, we are going to solve a lot of online quizzes and resources as the end of this topic reflection to understand how far we know about energy. And then we are going to discuss thermal energy precisely and how it is correlated to heat and the different way heat is transferred. And that would be it for this week. Thank you so much, 6th grade.